Hi everybody, this is Dawn with Scrapbook Sage. I hope you're doing well today. Are you guys ready for Christmas? How about Valentine's? So I made this really fun chocolate dessert journal inspired by Valentine's. It has a party of two. I actually made this cover um, inspired by Mama, on, um, Mama Juju crafting on the back 40. She had a challenge to, um, a collage challenge I didn't really do a collage, I just did a cover, but it had ice cream and fruit and shoes and a ticket and handwriting. So I was able to sort of work all that into this cover. So this cover inspired me wanting to use Dear Julie Julie's chocolate desserts because she has a really fun digital that just screams um, soda shop. So. I went ahead and made a journal out of it. I also used a couple digitals from Lindsay Zanor and um, a couple images from Creative Fabrica. So you can check out both those places as well. But we are highlighting Julie's pages. And some of the, the stronger card stock like this is, um, I have some coffee dyed pages, both the dark ones and let's see if I have a lighter one. Is actually coffee dyed paper but I've got some images of like rusty coffee dyed paper that is available as well but for Julie's kit look how cute it is it has all these little images I made here's the little dessert there so it has all these chocolate desserts so it's really fun and I just made a lot of ephemera and embellished this journal with them did some stamping and edging, used some washi tape. I kept things really simple. Here's Dear Julie Julie's avocado, avocado, avocado dyed paper. This is a little bit, um, she made it sort of, she sort of gave it a, um, made it look softer. So I used a stencil over this one and inked it. I love this kit with pinks and the really light browns, it, it, it was really fun to use that. Got a few pops of color there. Put a sticker here, inked that, did some stamping, just took a piece of paper and cut circles around that there. I did some stamping and those little bow, I had a, some bow stickers. Hmm. I have, Let's see which one I want to use. I'm trying to work through my washi tape. You know how washi tape is, you guys. You need to get, you need to use it or you lose it. <laughs> and this batch is starting to get to that point. So I thought I would um, I'll probably put a few pieces down to just add a little bit more to this journal as we're talking. So you know me, I kept it simple. I do um, like to do um, really simple journals for the shop. And we're noticing, I was talking to the owner of um, Crafted and Seaside, that's where I sell my journals. And for right now, during the holidays, people are just really um, being a little bit more uh, they need to just wash their pennies and dimes a little bit more. So we've noticed that a little bit. So it's nice to have simple journals made if you are selling them, having a variety of like maybe expensive ones and um, non-expensive ones so that people can have an option. Oh, this is my rusty um, coffee dyed um, kit. So when I coffee dyed paper, you'll see like this is rusty. This is an actual coffee dyed paper. But I scanned a set of them because I wanted to be able to use them. I, I like using the heavier cardstock. So being able to print a coffee dyed page on that, then I can glue and do different things. And I've been enjoying that process. I'm just using a gold and doing a few extra splatters here and there through the journal. And 
So I was really excited about being able to use this kit to prep for a February journal. I do try to make journals like one or two months ahead of time I um, so that they're ready in the shop when people are wanting to prepare for a special holiday or whatever. But anyways, it is nice to, I'm not going to do that. It's not going to work that well. Okay, so do I have anything else readily available? I don't think I do, and I think that's okay. So he, this pretty much has is the journal. There's a couple of tuck spots here and there. But I love how it turned out. It's just really sweet. There's a lot of writing space. It's, you want to eat all these goodies, and I don't eat a lot of sweets anymore, so this is my one way that I can enjoy sweets without eating them. So, and I gave you guys a sneak peek. I thought her kit would work for this a journal, but it didn't because it's smaller, and the way that her pages are, they really are 8 by 11 so cutting them down would have messed up the pages, but I did shrink them down, and... So I put them in here and I tore some of my pages and I thought, you know what, I'm going to make this like an actual, um, use this as one of my mini, what am I thinking of, cluster books. So what I thought I could do is show you what I was thinking. Let's see. <laughs> Okay, so I've got some coffee dyed ephemera, or I've got some ephemera here, and I thought it would be fun to just sort of see what I could do to make a little cluster book with some of these extra pieces that I have. This is the one I'm looking for. Okay, so I'm just going to take a piece of this paper here. And tear it all around. You guys know the drill. I'm not going to do a lot because Treasure Books has, has done ton of, a ton of them. So this may not be quite as long as... Like it might be, not, you might not get as many pieces out of it, but let's see what we could do here. <laughs> so I'm just gonna glue this down. And then I'm going to cut a piece of lace. And glue that down. We can glue things down a little bit more as we need to. There's a little pink there. And then I can go in here and let's see what I have. I have a little strawberry there. Do I want to do anything more than that? Oh, let's do this. So I make a, I like making coffee journals and coffee is a really big thing here in the Pacific Northwest. So this would be a perfect, and you can just tip in pages as much as you want to. So if I wanted to use this page, I can make another one here. Let's see. And in an ideal world, I would probably have some book page here because that's a good thing to use up. I do like 
using different I have a couple I, I call them tear journals for myself where or cleanup journals where I will have a journal like this and I, I need one for coffee and, and dessert stuff and I will just put I will just start gluing things onto a page and I know I can glue it out later. They make great gifts for friends. You could just hand them the book and they've got all this great ephemera that they can play with. Um, let's see if I have anything a little bit smaller to put on here. And I've gone through and inked all these images so that they're good to go and I can use them when I'm ready. So I could just glue this on here. I may have grabbed two. Yeah, so that's cute. So then what I would probably do is just cut this one. And I like um, having the stronger paper, so it's sort of like the scrapbook paper idea. Oops, and I did two of them, but that's okay. And you're good to go on that. You can tear around it some more. And then you've got that tear book. And Julie's pages work well with that too because it's got the writing behind it. Or you can just go ahead, um, since it's like a page that is really good for pockets, like this might just be a pocket booklet for you instead of a whole, um, instead of the little um, clusters. You can have little pocket clusters in here. And then you have sort of a Dutch door. So you can play around, see how this works for you, and you can do tip-ins. And then when you're done, you just sew in another signature if you've used it all. And look how well, these will just tear out really well for pockets, and you could glue this onto here. And it could just be a good um, resource when you need to have things like that. There's like 12 themes that I work with a lot each year, like weddings and babies and coffee and fall and Christmas and nautical. Those are all things that I make tons of journals of. And so having little journals like this that represent that theme and you can just grab it really quick and step and um, know that you have a lot of ephemera in there to play with and you might have to do only one or two steps is um, a really good option. So that's something to think about. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Go ahead and hit like and subscribe, and I will um, see you guys next time. Bye-bye.